Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is a very basic topic in cytology that is the difference between cell theory and modern cell theory. Let's move into the detail. Cell theory was actually proposed by two scientists, German scientists, Theodor Schwann and Matthias Gleden. In 1839, Theodor Schwann was basically a German pathologist and he studied on animal tissues and found out that in all animal tissues observed under his microscope he found out that all are made up of cells and he came up with the conclusion animals are made up of cells whereas Matthias Gleden was a German botanist and he took specimens plant specimens and uh, sectioned it and observed it under the microscope and found out that plants are also made up of cells and then they together came up with a theory called a cell theory in 1839 stating that all living organisms plants and animals are composed of one or more cells the second statement was the cell is the basic structural and functional unit of living things and the third statement of the cell theory was proposed by another German pathologist Rudolf Virchow it was in 1855 he proposed that all cells arise from pre-existing cells his famous words omnicellulae cellula now we know that it is by cell division mitosis or meiosis not derived from spontaneous generation which was a prominent theory before this statement diagrammatic sketch representing that all cells arises from pre-existing cells and the daughter cells are having the same quality of the parent cells the diagrammatic sketch by Rudolf Furcho. These three statements makes the cell theory. Now moving into modern cell theory. Modern cell theory is simply an expansion that have taken into consideration the knowledge of molecular biology and the present day knowledge we have in molecular biology, biochemistry, genetics, etc. Now we know that cell contains hereditary information in the form of DNA located in the nucleus and this information is passed to new cells by cell division. So DNA is transferred from one cell to another during cell division. Now we know that. And this is a fourth statement. And the fifth one is all cells from bacteria to blue whale. All cells are, are having the same chemical composition. The essential elements are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. Forming carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, etc. The composition and the constituent is the same, but the complexity is the only difference. All cells are having the same basic chemical composition. And the final point is energy flow that is occurs within cell metabolism. Some total of chemical reactions that is happening inside the cell is called as metabolism. And there are food is taken in and that is utilized by respiration generates energy that drives cellular activities biomass is accumulated and the rest is excreted or removed from the system and that is happening in inside a cell and as an organism also thank you so much for your attention you are with biologyexamsforyou.com